Welcome to Excel Array Formula Series number three. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Array Formula Series 1 to 14. Hey, in this example, we're going to see how to create an array formula and then copy that array formula over to other cells. Now, here's a basic stock example. We have an estimate for the future. We think the economy could be good or bad. The probability of it being good is 0.65. The probability of bad, 0.35. And we have one, two, three stocks in our portfolio. This is a return we expect if it's good. This is the return we expect if it's bad for this first stock. And then also over here. So our goal is we have to calculate each one of these times a probability and then add them up for our expected return for stock one. I'm going to highlight this whole range here since we can uh, do one formula in the light colored cell up at the top and then control enter to enter it equals. We're not going to do um, any arrays here. We're going to do those next. I just want to show you this is how you do it the long way and then we'll do it the short way with an array formula. So we click on the return and that's a relative cell reference equals one, two, three, one, two, three, four above times. And we want 0.65, but we want to lock it going across but not down. So I'm going to hit my F4 key one, two, three times. And then Control Enter. Click on the last cell and hit F2. Sure enough, it got the right one. Now we simply highlight this range and Alt equals. I'm going to hit F2 to verify. Sure enough, it's adding two above. So that's the long way. Now, we've already seen this um, in the first uh, array formula trick. The advantage to array formulas is you can skip a bunch of steps. In essence, you're, you're using real estate here to calculate this when you really only wanted these values here. Array formulas allow us to just go straight to the chase and calculate the values we want without using any real estate, any cells in the workbook or worksheet. I'm going to scroll down here. Oh, here it is. Same set of value. But here is the array formula. And watch this. We're going to create this in this cell. And then we'll be able to copy it over. And it will calculate each one correctly. Alt equals. Now remember, just a moment ago, we multiplied this times this. because. Um, but the formula we did before was just a single cell. Here we're going to multiply a range of cells or an array times in another array. Now watch this. This one, when we copy this formula over to stock two and three, we need to have this lock going to the side. So I'm going to hit my F4 key, F4, F4. The dollar sign is just in front of the C. And then I'm going to multiply. And now I'm going to highlight one, two, actually that's one, two, three, three and four cells above. That array formula right there, when I control shift enter, remember you got to hold control and shift and then tap enter. Very good. Click and drag all the way over. Click on the last cell, hit F2. That is how to cut out those intermediate steps by using an array formula, multiplying two ranges, and then uh, using your proper cell references and copying the array formula over. All right, we'll see you next array trick.